Hey, what's up, Mr. Rashad? OG friend of the fam, Antonio. Kyle Reason kids are back. Mando, season three, episode three, chapter 19. The name of this episode is called The Convert. All oh, spoilers. You gotta talk about a thing to talk about a thing. I'm just gonna get this out of the way right now. The theme of this episode is old habits die hard. Yes. I mean, because we have this sandwich of the Mandalorians basically bookending the episode mm -hmm. with a whole lot of the New Republic is really moving like the Empire in the middle. I, like I really <laughs> wanted to 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 just talk about how awesome this scene in the beginning of the, in the beginning. I'm about to say movie. You know what I'm saying? Because it yeah. should be a movie. And with, this episode um, was long too. Oh yeah, I saw it's like fifty nine minutes. Fifty nine like, oh. minutes. Yeah, I was like, I was like oh. okay, okay, we got we got yeah. an episode today. Bocas hand comes in from the water, and she said, "You know what? I ain't gonna tell this fool that there's a whole ass mythosaur down there." <laughs> Yo, she was reflecting so hard. Like, did I just see what I thought I saw? That like, I I really I saw with my own eyes what I thought I saw down there. Like, I really didn't see that. And you got Mando over there <laughs> trying to get his breath back. Yeah, he about, to, he about to die over there. And she just sitting there in deep thought, like, oh my right. god. And she still got a helmet on. So it's like it's like she's get she's gazing off into the distance, you know, uh throwback for me and Rashad doing a nautical pose and everything, just like like did it, that that really just happened up. Like that really just happened. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah, I was weak, man. Like he's over there coughing on water on, on, under his helmet. Uh -huh. And Rogu was like, you know, trying to touch him. Like, hey, man. Hey, Pop. You good, <laughs> you good Dad? Dad. You're right, Dad? <laughs> Come on, Dad. Wake up, Dad. <laughs> like Simba, Simba Mufasa. <laughs> Get up! Get up, Dad! Wake up, Dad! Wake up! <laughs> Stop playing, Dad! Stop playing, Dad! Come on! Come on! I, hey. I, I what you got... did, Simba? Get out what of here! Did, I'm, did, sorry. Simba. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. My bad. Let's get focused. All right. Yeah. So, listen. So he's good. He's like, hey, um, she's like, hey, 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 um, hey, Den. Did you see anything down there when when when, when you dropped? You know what I'm saying? And yeah. he was like. Uh, I saw like you know some caverns and that was pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's about it. Whatever. He was like, "Did you see something out there?" She yeah. was like, "Nah, nah, I ain't see nothing either." And she, I could just picture her face on that mask, like, "No, nah, I ain't see nothing either." You know what it reminded me of? What's that? <laughs> Space balls. <laughs> Calm the desert. <laughs> calm, calm the desert. Like, uh, he said, calm the desert. So we're combing the desert. <laughs> so, you know, you don't find anything? We found <laughs> ish. <laughs> I ain't see ish. You're like, all right, whatever. But yeah, I thought, I, like, because that's the one thing I was wondering what was going to happen. Like, was she yeah. going to say, like, did she, you know what I'm saying, like, leading up to this the whole week, like, yo, is she going to tell him what he saw, what she uh, saw, or did he even see it himself? Mm, no, nah, he ain't see nothing. Mm, and she, she, she like, she like, nothing. I ain't see nothing. I ain't say nothing. Uh, yo, let's get up out of here. Yeah. <laughs> so, that? so, so they dip off planet and get back to what's the name of the moon? Kalavala. I can never remember the name of that moon. Yeah, well, yeah, they was trying to leave, and then yeah. remember they got attacked. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So they yeah, was going yeah. back into the um and basically back into to the moon uh -huh. and um two Thai interceptors show up you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and shouted that out by name which i was very surprised usually yes. like naming stuff for star wars you got back to like yeah they dipped they dipped on them it was like look it's a couple more of them <laughs> yeah so remember they blew they blew up her home her castle yo and she that was, was crazy. crazy right right they that was crazy her, they man. blew up her castle and she was like, oh, hell. Mm, oh, hell. And she yo, she this... took out one of them. And then was like, hey, yo, hey, yo, my girl. Hey, turn around. Let's go. Because it, it started showing like about 15 more of them things. Come. And it was like, yeah, because at first, when they first saw the interceptors, they was like, where they come from? They was like, man, they got some it's of these like, imperial you know, warlords. warlords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, out here every once in a while. They was like, yo, we ain't never seen no warlord with that many. Nah, it was like, oh. A lot of um weaponry going on. So that that whole scene and sequence mm -hmm. is one of the reasons why I'm really sad that they basically have scrapped Rogue Squadron. 
You know what I'm saying? Because dog fights. that right there was mm-hmm. so good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So from the onset, them basically get to the planet and they realize there's like four more show up. And your boy jumps out the ship, gets to his ship, then goes all the way up, turns off, off the engine, and then goes back down. I say, yo, yeah, they doing all this on a TV show. Yeah. And it was so good. You know what I'm saying? And, and people were saying, like, your Top Gun Maverick was like basically Star Wars. And I'm like, and, and I really agree with that. Yeah. Um, I also don't understand the like the um the admiration for Top Gun Maverick. I thought it was very okay. <laughs> like, people really love Top Gun Maverick. Like, that should have won the Oscars. Like, yo, you I'm not gonna go that far. I liked it. It was one of my favorite movies last it year. It was really but I just it was like, really okay. Like <laughs> it was one of my fa- considering all things, it was one of my favorite movies last year. However, I think the overhyping it. What yo, has, they, was yo, like they, they, the this, this, this nostalgia done right. I said, This nostalgia done okay. I need y'all to calm down. <laughs> it was about 20 minutes too long. So, that whole sequence going through the caverns and stuff, uh huh. And and Grogu looking and talking, well, not only really talking, but looking and 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 communicating with Vulcan's hand through the facial expressions. Uh-huh. Our five being afraid, this is the most scared droid ever. <laughs> it's still funny to me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That whole scene was. Perfect, perfect yeah. scene. All, all of them just to jump in the hyperspace. Be like, oh yeah, yo, we are gonna go somewhere where we can't be found. I'm like, yo, where the heck they going? That's like, oh, yeah. okay, yeah, I know they're probably going. And then yeah. comes the meat of the episode. Next thing you know, you see a planet that we are very familiar with, Coruscant. Coruscant. Coruscant is still thriving, or whatever. Very much so. And everyone's like, oh snap! It's I'm like, oh snap! It's Coruscant, and there seems to be some type of like, I don't know, not it's a tr- it's like a trial. TED talk. <laughs> yeah, it's not even a trial or anything like that. It's like a, it's like, hey, let me just tell you how great this is, and we see our guy, Doctor Pershing. It's really like a, it's, it's like a TED talk. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It is like, right because that's the opera house. That is right. That's the yeah. opera house, right? And so he's just like. You know, I just want to thank the New Republic for what they've done for me. You know, some of us, you know, that was working for the Empire, we had no choice. We had to do what we had to do or we would die. But thanks to you guys, you guys looked out, you know, saying with the, um, what was it called? The Amnesty Program. Yeah. With the Amnesty Program, you know, I, you know, we've been rehabilitated and everything like that. And then also in the process, you see a um, young lady walk in and she sits and she's watching and and I'm looking, I say, I know this young lady from somewhere before I couldn't put my finger on it mm-hmm. or whatever. And so Dr. Pershing, you know, you know, he finished doing his little speech and the crowd is going wild. And he's just like, you know, hopefully he can, you know, his study of cloning and things like that can, you know, help, you know, saying help with the New Republic. So he goes out to the main lobby and you have all these New Republic snobs. And oh, my God, I mean, these folk are. Still trash, you know, like, a, you know, so he's the like, he's like, I almost got drafted. And it was like, no, honey, that was the empire <laughs> or whatever. Could you imagine me with a gun? It's like, <laughs> like it was, shut up, dude. And like, you know, they're like, oh my God, Dr. Pershing, your work seems to be so interesting. And like, that kind of puts a bug in his head of like, yeah. yo, like my work really, you know, I know they was doing cloning and stuff like that, but the Camino, Camino ones, but you know, this, yeah. you know, I really have like a passion for this to help stuff out and so he goes quick wait, quick, quick to basically he was saying how they were trying to say like the best part of dna from from different basically different things and put mm-hmm. it all together which was yeah. talking about the work he was doing uh-huh with um with moff gideon yeah. and basically trying to get grogu's dna so mm-hmm. they were trying to get dna from all types of stuff and spice them all together to make like mm-hmm. this super the super whatever clone, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Or, or us trying to just make like the perfect society, or you know what I'm saying? Or, yeah, or, or whatever. Trying to make snow, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's a bunch of it's a much thing they could be trying to make. Right, a bunch of stuff kind of done. So you know. You oh know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And basically, I'm sorry. His no. his whole reasoning was he wanted to make clones. So he can make like clone organs because right. his mom passed away because you know. They didn't have any sort of like technology on on their home worlds to do that. That was his his impetus to 
And you know what? That's kind of put things into real life perspective as well with um, stem cell research. You know, with stem Very cell, true. With stem cell true. research, and you know, is it morally or is it ethical to do? You know, you know, what I'm saying Definitely. for that for people that may have lost body parts or you know stuff. So it, I, I kind of felt that a little bit. Like, hmm, I see where he's coming from. Mm-hmm. So. Then, you know, he's like, you know, uh, in a droid taxi and they're taking him to Amnesty Housing where they're housing all of these, you know, people who have been, quote unquote, rehabilitated from being in the Republic, being not in the public, but being in the Empire. Yeah. And he lands and he sees some guys and he's kind of looking like, oh, I don't want to be bothered with them. And they're like, hey, man, come on over, have a talk with us. And like they it's like amnesty housing is like they are amnesty program but it also seems like they're still prisoners because they got to refer to each other by their name by their numbers what's your number lt ltn two three five six oh yeah I'm, yeah this is uh, this is l53 this L53. is n, n27 you know what I'm saying? Like, i was like they're free but yet they still like prisoners because also too later on episode you realize you find out too that it's only certain areas they can they they can stay in they can't leave certain certain areas you know what I'm saying for amnesty people so he talking to these guys they introduce and then introduced the chick that we saw in the theater and he looked and the look on his face was like oh boy yeah you you hear like that and they're looking like what's what's up with that she was like and then he was just like I didn't think any of Moff Gideon's people would be in this this pro and they, and you and when he said that you saw the other dudes be like yo you was with Moth Gideon like like oh it's like they didn't ew. know either you know they didn't saying? know either whatever and then they started talking rumors about Moth Gideon they heard he escaped. which is crazy yo what if Moth Gideon really skipped the tribunal yeah they said oh he skipped the tribunal oh he is he escaped you know saying you're like oh this is wild yeah. and so you know they're all talking they're just basically saying like you know what their purpose is, what they're doing, and then they add, then they, you know, jokingly be like, "Oh man, what do you miss?" or what that. And my man Persian was just like, "I didn't miss anything about the empire. The empire was horrible." And they're like, "Hey, hey, yo, yo, bro, 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 we don't be like that. Like, what's t- food or anything like that?" And he was just like, "Oh yeah, the yellow biscuits." <laughs> <laughs> he was like, uh, "Yellow biscuits," and it was like, like "Those was my right there." Yeah, you know, those was my ish or whatever. <laughs> And the other dude, they was like, yeah, you know, man said, yeah, you can have that. I never want to see another ration pack in my life. And then the chick was like, man, bump that. I like the red ones. And then the other he was like, red ones? No, the green ones were the way to go. It was just so funny hearing them talk about these ration packs. Like, yo, they were my ish. So Pershing goes back to his little domicile. And, you know, he's in there. And then he, you know, like he's getting ready for bed. And then he is like a like a knock on the door or whatever. He goes, he looks, don't see anybody at the door, but he looks down the ground and he, there's a, a case in front of him. He picks the case up and it's a case of the yellow biscuits that he wanted, man. Because I was like, yo, that case looks very imperial. You know what I'm yes. saying? Yes, yes. The shape and everything because it had a little hexagonal, you know, like shape or whatever. Mm-hmm. So then you see Persian's job. He's like, you know, <laughs> almost like an office worker and he's just... <laughs> filing he, stuff and you know who he, he was he was your boy from andor what's your boy name oh yeah, god yeah i know what you're talking about yeah him yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. the dude the simp dude or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know what you're talking about the, the dude the, who mama mama was playing boy. him mama's boy then he was in love with the he was in love with the chick and everything too so yeah so he's there and did like and then, like, he sees another um, um, amnesty guy, and he's like, all of, like, hey, man, I saw your speech. It's awesome, blah, 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 this and that, or whatnot. And then you, you cut to a scene where you start seeing some weird stuff. They're like, it's like a festival or whatever, and they're taking, and, and the chick takes Pershing out to show him around, like, Coruscant, because apparently Pershing had never been to Coruscant, the city, you know, city planet, because even before the knot came and he got those, um, those yellow biscuits. He was look. He was listening to like you know the history of Coruscant and knowing that Coruscant was a city planet. You know, what I'm saying it's just one city, and the entire planet is a city. And so she, and they're eating like uh, glow in the dark frozen ice cream pops. Yeah, real cute. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're like a date almost, and they're talking and 
and everything. And and she's just like probing. She's really probing him. And she's just like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. This and that. And, and Sutton told me not to trust this chick anyway from the beginning. Mm-mm. But she was just asking questions and like, do you miss doing your work? <sighs> and everything. He was like, well, no, you know. Yeah. You know, I was, we was on the verge of really doing some great things, but you know, stuff happened. And yeah, whatever. And then she was just like, yeah, you know, I realized that like I did a lot of dirty stuff, man. I did a lot of bad stuff. And and I'm just glad that, you know, I've been rehabilitated to do this or whatnot. And then she told him, hey, have you ever thought about like, you know, possibly still doing your work? And he was like, Nah, nah, they don't. They they not really down with that no said, more. Yeah, <laughs> no, they not really down with cloning and stuff like that. And she was like, and she was like, well, what would you need? He was like, yo, I need a, a I need like a what? She said, what? A movable lab and you know some parts and I could do some stuff. And she was like, well, you know, it might be a way that could happen. And he like, mm, no, no, no. I'm good. She was like, well, just think about it. And so. Next thing you know, you see he's back at work again, and he meet and um earlier he meets with like I guess a protocol droid that's like asking them, hey, how are you adjusting and all this stuff, and he's like, fine. This and he says, hey, um, I would like to um be able to do you know continue some of my work, and there was like, oh nope, the due to the New Republic Accords, cloning or anything like that is is non grata it ain't happening jack <laughs> nope it's illegal and he's like oh and so he has to hide this whole every time he goes to this um after his work day he gotta go do you feel fulfilled at your job he gotta be like yeah but which what? is which is crazy because to me it's like when i was saying like oh what happens that hard they basically take them to conversion camps mm-hmm. to indoctrinate them into the yes. republic so they can be, you know what I'm saying, undoctrinated <laughs> from the daggone um the empire. And let me and, tell you, this is it's the same thing. Yeah, it, it 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 the new republic very much so had some very imperialistic empire type trash uh-huh. stuff going on, but not too much trash to the point the empire is doing. It's like it, it's on the teetering or the borderline about yo, know, this is about to be some trash what they got going on but they don't really go to that next level or whatever they're like hey we're doing this for right now so my the new man, republic the, i'm sorry no, the, go ahead, the, go ahead. The, the new republic is is basically like it's like um conservative america you know what i'm saying like yo like we we doing this for the greater good but it's really like only for the greater good of like a a, a very small a, amount of a people. Very few. Yeah. 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 So, so you know, it, it goes to the next day, and he's just like, yo, man, like, ugh. he he's doing his work again, and he's talking to the guy, and the guy's like, hey, man, no, you know, the male guy again. The guy's like, no, we don't do this type of stuff. He asked him about his work and stuff. It was like, well, what are these right here? He was like, oh yeah, that's old like Empire, like tech and tech and stuff you gotta destroy all that yeah he's like, like decommission what? all this yeah. decommission he's like i gotta delete it destroy it. no he was like no 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 some of this stuff he was like hey man look yo bro do you do you want to go back to basically a concentration camp yo for real <laughs> like we got it good bro like shut the hell up <laughs> keep this you know shut the hell up and we're gonna keep this dang on moving i mean keep this moving or whatnot and so finally from that he made his decision Yo, we're gonna get this lab and I'm gonna continue my work. Mm-hmm. So he meets up with the girl, tells her, Hey, yo, I want to make this happen. She's all right, we're leaving at night. So they they dress, you know, what I'm saying they, they take off their little clothes and everything, and they they get in their normal attire and you know, their whole and the thing is they're not even supposed to leave a certain zone, a, a zone or whatever. And they basically it's like being in New York, yeah. They basically hop the rails, man. They definitely <laughs> hop. They definitely they hop, hop the turnstile. You know? They hop like, the turnstile. You know? get on the train, which I was like, yo, that's crazy. Yeah, so they get on the train, and the whole time he looks so suspicious. He looks like he don't belong. He like he up to something, and she's like, hey, yo, just chill out, you know. But she has experience doing stuff like that because she was a um imperial officer for the most part. 
So next thing you know, you got the droids coming on coming on the on train, and they're like, tickets, please. And they're like, hey, we got to get out of here. So they do like a little escape, and they get out the, um, you know, they get off the train, and they get to where the, um, the old Imperial Yard, where they're decommissioning all the ships, the Imperial um, destroyers and stuff like that. And, and she's like, and he's like, hey, there aren't no guards. She was like, man, you ain't got to worry about no guards. These ships ain't, these ships ain't, ain't, ain't working. You know, you can power them up, but no, it ain't not happen. So they get inside to um one of the Imperial ships and they get to the lab and he just sees the lab and he gets so excited. He's like, oh my God, I always want to, you know, work in a lab like this. And I, she was like, I, he was like, I just want to be a scientist. I want to be, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, yo, you always knew this. And she also too on their way in there was like, I must have walked by you a hundred times and never introduced myself. Never introduced myself. And and then he was like, oh, it's okay. That's just how it was. And she was like, no. And she stuck her hand out, introduced herself, said a real name. I can't remember what her real name was. And said, you know what I'm saying? That's who I am. And then he was like, cool. Persian science division. And so they go in the little lab and, you know, he's like a kid in a candy store. He's like, ooh, he snatches all the stuff up. I'm going to do this, that, boom, boom, boom. It's going to be so good because earlier she was like, hey, sometimes you got to do things to show people that, hey, maybe maybe, maybe this wasn't as bad as you think it was or whatnot. <laughs> she said that to him. And so they get everything you need and they're leaving. And in the process of them leaving, they start hearing like security or guards or something. You're like, yo, hey, man, let's get up out of here right now. So they leave it and then they get caught. They get caught by like you know saying the New Republic police force or whatnot. They have the worst uniforms. Yo. Yeah, worst uniforms. They look like some type of like eighties cartoon futuristic. You know what's the cartoon back in the day? Shot cops. Remember this? <laughs> Remember fighting Bangley crime cops. in the fighting crime in crime the future time. Future time. There, there we go. Yeah, kind of like I used to love that show too. I did too, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, like, yeah, very reminiscent of that. Reminiscent of cops, and then he, and then she just picks the um suitcase up with all the stuff, and then stands beside the police force, and he's like, "Yo, what are y'all doing?" And he's like, "No, no, no." She like put me up to this or so whatever. Mm -hmm. So she basically snitched on him but it's never really stated why she snitched on him but i think it's because I, I, what do you think rashad yo like basically oh yeah her name was um elliot kane yeah elliot is, is kane. her name and um uh -huh. to me because even back when i thought about how she was moving when she was on my gideon ship uh -huh. it was very much i'm the person who is delivering the messages i'm, I'm trying to connect the connect things you know what i'm saying she's the liaison yeah good mm -hmm. word i i yeah so that's she, she's still doing the same thing essentially uh -huh. she she set him up only to do again old habits die hard to get power. and you and you know what she wanted to do she saw an easy mark mm -hmm. and he and she wanted to torture him that's the only reason that that she went through all that trouble, this elaborate scheme, and, you know, you know that you know, you know that also means uh -huh. she be doing this all the time. Yes, yes, yo, because so, like it's too, it's because it's too perfect of a plan. Because yeah. what she do? She said, "Hey, I, I'm gonna check out all the new recruits, whatever, when they come here, and uh -huh. I'm gonna, be gonna make sure that they actually have been rehabilitated." Yeah, mm -hmm. their conversion is, is, is sticky. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, so like that's crazy. It's so crazy to me. And then, so you know, he's in a room and they put him on a table. You know, they put him on a table, and you know, he's in there with a Mon Calamari guy, and he's like, Hey man, <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Hey, it, you know what I'm saying? Conversion might ain't stick this time, but you know, this time it will. It's not gonna be any people like, yo, this is a flare. This is a mind flare. I said, what's the like, stranger things? Right. This is a mind flare. It's like, no, I he like, yo, I know it this do. And she's like, he's like, oh no, 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 we're not the empire. He said, he no, nah, I had it done to me. It was me quite too. delightful. It was it was quite delightful, you know. <laughs> it's quite delightful. He's Basically, he's like, yo, arm. we're just going to, you know what I'm saying, get that part out your brain of one to do. So you gonna wipe my you gonna wipe my memory away. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, like, no, not really, man. It's gonna be a and then he was like, yo, she set me up. And I just thought it was so great. He was like, she was like, it was a trap. 
and he just takes it back to Colonel Akbar because yeah, I was I was, I was, I was weak. I was so weak when he did that. I was that. crying. I was like, I see what you did there. I see yeah. what you did there, Favreau. Good job. It like, it's a trap. Whatever. He's like, no, it's going to be okay. And so they put a, you know, hook him up to the thing and they cover his eyes and they give him a little. And it looked like it was going all right and peaceful. And mm-hmm. she's like in a viewing room with another, with a Twi'lek and, and like, Oh man, he was doing so good and everything like that. And he's like, well, all right, let's go. And she was like, no, I just want to stay here and watch. She was like, all right, cool. Yeah, no, no, and no. Then, and she hits him with the yeah, you know, he was a friend. Yeah, he was a friend. I want to be here for him. She's like, all right. She said, and she turned that thing all the way up. My man was ah, oh, started cut for. I she was just like, she was just like loving it. I said, yo, I said that. I said this chick here is, you know, I said like you said that. Old habits die hard, you know. Yo, was was it just me or did it kind of feel like um they were almost like the gay best friends? Yes. Cause like he's definitely very much feminine leaning, very kind of, you know, yeah. almost um very introverted. Uh-huh. She was like like the outgoing, more masculine yeah. females. It, it just did. it really felt like that to me. I could be it totally did. wrong. I mean, I'm not trying to be offensive, but yeah. like that's how it just it's no. kind of it kind of looked like that that was the vibe that was going for with, with those with those with that pair. With those two, yeah, it, it did it gave me that vibes as well. So it's yeah, I, I'm wondering what's going to happen from that. So yeah. then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, so like, yeah, very curious. About that it, was so. just like you know, just odd to have that just in the middle of an episode or something like that. So then you come back to Dan and Bo Katan, like basically jumping out of hyperspace. And they're coming to the planet that um that Din came to with the rest of the Mandalorians, you know, saying are basically there. Hiding you know, out. Hiding out. And then you see uh God, um John Favreau's pa- um, you see Paz Vizla. Paz Vizla. Paz, you know, he's the descendant of Paz Vizla. Was that Paz Tar Vizla? Tar Vizla, right? He descended Tar Vizla. That was Paz Vizla. And he sees Mando is like, oh, this month. Right. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo, without any facial expression, you can tell he Damn. is so mad. And, and he's then... still bit and he's still bit about losing in the fight in um Book of Boba Fett when and not even that. He's, uh-huh. he's still mad from way back in the Clone Wars. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, remember right. he, him and Boca Tan were on opposite sides. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So like right. he's, when he it, saw when he saw Bo Katan, he said. What you, what do you want, Night Owl? He just like straight up Night Owl. And he was like, and you know, and then he was like, he says, Den, what are you doing here? You, you he says, you're no longer a man of law. He's like, hey, yo, screw you. I purified my cells in the water, in the waters of Lake Minnetonka, known as uh the mines of Mandalore, <laughs> baby. And he's like, he he's like, BS, whatever. I'm not trying to hear that. It's he was like, she was like, no, it's true. It's then he was like, and she was like, I'm Bo Katan of Clan Crease. And she he like. Yeah, another shamed house. Get out of here. Like, all right, bet. They're like, yeah, bet. And he was like, yo, I got proof. Like, <laughs> I, I, I got proof. He was like, we got proof, huh? All right, we'll see. So they go inside and they see the um the metal, you know what I'm saying? The metal urgy lady or whatever, Mandalorian. And she's like, the armor. Armor, whatever. Metal. I said metal urgy. Oh, wait. <laughs> The armor or whatever. I couldn't think of it, man. <laughs> Metallurgy. Okay. That's cool, man. Good so work. Was, and so she was like, you're back. And he was like, yeah. He says, I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed. Lord, I've mercy. I've been redeemed. I've, I've been bathed in the waters of the man, of the minds of man and Lord. And she was like, and then she was like, oh, have you? And Boom Chan was like, yes, I was there. It's like, Bo-Katan. <laughs> How am I supposed to take her word, too? But they're like, they're just playing her so hard or whatever. Yes. Remember he, the, um, the armorer played her too in Book of Boba Fett um, when he talked about um, Clan Crease and her mm-hmm. with the um, dark saber. Mm-hmm. So he was like, look, I got the you know, I got the evidence right here. And she took the water that he had and said, oh, snap. You did purify yourself. You know what I'm saying? The minds of Mandalorian. He was like, you are Mandalorian again. Is that this is the way. This is the way. And it's like, Bo-Katan, what about you? And she's like, nah, no, I haven't. She's like, did you step foot in the waters? And she said, you... say, yeah, I saved him. <laughs> she said, said, yeah, he fell in and I saved him. And he was like, 
You have been redeemed too. He said, "Well, by Creed, you also <laughs> right, been redeemed." He's like, "Have you He's taken your helmet? Helmet off since?" <laughs> and she was like, "No." He said, "Well, you too." And he said, "Guess what? You are now part of our clan." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Until you, know, you, know, you don't want to be here no more. You know, and the funny thing was, like, she called it a coven. A coven, you know what right? I'm saying? And you know yeah. what's even funnier? People like really was like online, like talking about, "Oh yeah, this dude on on TikTok. This coming in a week." Uh-huh. Talking about how, like, yo, like, it really doesn't feel like he's in a cult. It just feels like, like, you know, people live in a different way of life. And and I replied back, that's kind of sounds like something somebody so, in the cult would say. So, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so. Yo, because this is straight a cult. And and yeah. not only that, but, like, I, I do, I really wonder how or who is going to step up to be the leader of, of, of all Mandalorians. Mm-hmm. Because... There's this weird power quadrant triangle mm-hmm. between Paz, um, the armorer, um, low key, uh, even though she ain't uh, saying nothing. Uh-huh. Um, Din, who Din. doesn't want it, who's going uh-huh. through his hero's journey, uh-huh. and um, Bo Katan. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying, and they're all there. So the it's, probably the most important people in uh, of all Mandalore are there yeah. right now in the it's, same little coven. I'm gonna tell you what had me die. So after they, you know, they're like, this is the way. And they're like, hey, yeah, you're a part of us now and everything. They all going up, dapping around. Oh, man, everybody, it reminded me of, like, people crossing over into a fraternity. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's go, baby. Ace, like, what up? I see you, what Ace. Ace. <laughs> I see what that do. What about I you, Sam? I see you, Tail Dog. I'm talking about Tail Dog. I see you, baby. <laughs> Man, I was cracking up at that part. It was all because at first they was all pissing on her and him, oh, taking the helmet and then all of a sudden like, yeah. And then you just see like funny about Grogu just sitting there like, what's going on here? When I'm like, what are we doing? A lot of, this is a lot of stuff we got going on here. <laughs> and yeah, so that's kind of how the episode ends, where you like you said, you have these four people who are possibly in a power struggle to run, you know, saying the Mandalorians. All down with one coven, and now it's like okay, they know the planet isn't poison. Yes, that's about they to say know, they know the planet ain't poison, they know the planet ain't cursed, the minds of Mandalore are still there. Hey, let's go home. Yes, is that's what's gonna happen next. But we still have some things to figure out. We gotta figure out number one, who's the warlord that had all them dago um in, <laughs> in a set tie in a you already know who it is. Also, too, right. Also, too, don't forget you still got that swamp thing looking bounty jank that's looking for Dan from the first episode, yeah, as well. So, you know, so I th- it's it's crazy how it seems like it, it finished an arc, but it's still so many questions still left. And then my thing is too, yo, what's up with Moth Gideon? Because I thought we was gonna see him, you know. Yo, we might yo tone. Might we might Gideon. see Moff Gideon, and we also might see Moff Gideon with Thrawn. Thrawn, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, for real, like, because ain't nobody else out here in the galaxy with that type of um armament and people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it, or, or the person that's smart enough to accumulate all this stuff. So, yeah. We'll have to see. You know what I'm saying? Next week, uh, probably just be another um very um contained episode. That's kind of how they'd they be doing. On the yeah. Mandalorian, but yeah, next Wednesday we'll be back um, mm. with Mandalorian, Man- Mandalorian, <laughs> Mandalorian, <laughs> <laughs> and the next shots, man. Um, but yeah, that's all we got. All right, y'all, y'all be easy. Peace.